G'day everybody. So I just wanted to show you how to mix your paste using a binder that I supply. So I've got some silver powder here. Or you can get any powder. And then you get your your binder which you will get in a bottle and then just just squirt it out but I've got a lot of it in a in a container so I just use a container and this is just what I'm gonna do oh it looks great already like that and then let me just get you a little bit closer down here so you can see better and I will zoom it in and then all I do is pretty much just fold fold it in and out it's really fun but you can see that that powder is kind of flying everywhere so you want to be gentle collect it from the sides so obviously that's not enough I'm going to add a little bit more in there so you go depends on on the actual powder as to how much of the binder you use um, so I can't really tell you the exact measurements. So I could tell you for this particular powder how much to use. But if I, if it was any other one, some of them are just thicker, some of them are heavier, some of them are lighter, some of them are really fine. So they really take in the the actual liquid or the paste rather. Um, so it's really hard to to kind of determine how much so it's just trial and er error you just put a little bit more you've seen how I did it this is glass it's just um, I'm doing it on my cheap plastic table and I've got a, a glass cover which is brilliant for doing these kinds of things so I need a little bit more this would work you just really work it in if you want a really thick paste. I like a thick paste. You don't have to do it this way either. I'm just doing it this way because I like to really work it in and see how it how it reacts. And I enjoy it. To me, it's just really like a meditation. But uh, you can just mix it in a in a cup. What you do is you put in your liquid in first, and then you put your powder over the top of it and then just gently start stirring and then add more powder I have done it the other way around as well just uh, I just find that the powder if it's stuck underneath it's trapped under the the um, the liquid it, it, sometimes it just does just kind of puffs out and then you get this big puff of smoke not smoke big puff of uh, dust that you don't need so there you go so I could use this still keep using this but I think I'm going to use a bigger one now just to really give it extra look at that that's why you use uh, a stainless steel spatula so that you can pick it all up you don't want to waste any of this and you just keep going and the same thing you would do with the um, uh, if you were doing it in a cup you just um, keep working it keep working it okay so and there you have it you have a paste so these I uh, find that this binder if it's kept in a cool place it will harden so if you want to to have it a bit harder you can put your container or your jar in the fridge or in a cool place so it's nice and hard and vice versa if you want to uh, you know have it a little bit looser you can mix it looser or you can just uh, keep it in the in a warm place I wouldn't recommend putting this in the microwave to warm it up <laughs> I definitely would not recommend that so uh, there you go. So you kind of pick it all up and look at that silver. Isn't that gorgeous? That's a really pretty silver. 
and then what you do is once you've got it all mixed beautifully then you just pick it up and uh, pop it in your jar that's the easiest part so it's all you do twirl it a little bit and then in you go look at that look at that silver pretty and then that's that's pretty much it so I hope you learned something here if you're interested in purchasing the binder from me um, just pop in the shop and it'll be in there under accessories and art supplies and things like that okay so I shall see you there bye for now